if I light the Bunsen burner, this is the kind of flame that you're taught in chemistry class. If we close the air supply, the flame looks different. Does anybody know why the two flames look different? Uh, the gas doesn't mix with air until just as it leaves the barrel. That's right. Before, the gas and the air were mixed before they burned. Whereas when I close the air supply, the gas and the air don't mix until right when it is about to be burned. We call these two different types of flames premixed and diffusion flames. In this case, the air and the fuel mix before they burn, and we call this a premixed flame. If we close the air supply, the air and the fuel don't mix until right when the fuel is about to burn. We call that a diffusion flame. I'm going to take an ordinary wooden match and insert it into a paper clip. And then I'm going to take the paper clip and I'm going to place it into the barrel of the Bunsen burner. Now I'm going to turn on the gas again and I'm going to light the Bunsen burner. What's happening to the match? You'd expect it to light or to burn. That's right. So we're going to try and figure out what the shape of the flame is. What's happening to the match? It's uh, burning. It's, it's burning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so to explore the shape of the flame, we're going to relight the candle. Now with the Bunsen burner, we learned about premixed and diffusion flames. Does anybody know what type of flame that is on the candle? Diffusion flame? It's a diffusion flame because the oxygen, the air, and the fuel from the candle mix up the flame. So where is the wick with respect to the flame? It's completely inside. Because I'm trying to figure out what the shape of the flame is in three dimensions. When I first start to see smoke, I'm going to put the match into the smoke. It puts the match out. If I lower the mesh further into the flame, and the smoke changes color, I can put the match back and Whoa. I can actually light. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. If I lower the mesh into the flame, so what do you notice about the flame now that we can look into it? Well, it's a circle. It's a circle. And is it homogeneous or not homogeneous? It's not homogeneous. That's right. So what do you think is in the middle of the flame where it's not burning? Is it just gas? What kind of gas? Um, vapors from the candle wax. That's right. So if I lower the mesh <laughs> into the flame, I start to see some smoke. And the smoke that I see at first will put out the match. So what's happening is inside the flame, there's just gaseous wax. And outside, there's just uh, air. And where they meet in the correct proportions for burning is where you have the flame itself. So what we've done with these experiments is to kind of learn some about what's going on in diffusion flames. We're interested in diffusion flames because the types of fires that you typically have in homes or businesses tend to be diffusion flames. In the lab, when you use a Bunsen burner, you generally want the premixed flame.